In this video, we will create a flowchart for the given problem statement. That is, you are given two numbers, you need to calculate and print the greatest common divisor GCD. But before that, let's understand what GCD is. The greatest common divisor GCD of two or more integers is the largest positive integer that divides each of the integers. For example, the GCD of 8 and 12 is 4. Since 8 is divisible by 1, 2, 4 and 8 itself. Also 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So here 1, 2 and 4 are the common divisors. And additionally 4 is the greatest common divisor. Note Greatest common divisor GCD is also known as highest common factor HCF. So now let's dive to construct a flowchart. Firstly, we will create a starting terminator to indicate the beginning of the program. Now let's implement an input component to accept two integers from the user and store them in variables A and B. Furthermore, a decision box is added to check whether A is greater than B or not. If the condition inside the decision box is true, that is, if A is greater than B, then we will create a new variable and copy the variable B in it using a process box. Let's say smaller is equals to B. After that, we will again add a decision box to check A modulo B is equals to 0 or not. If A modulo B is equals to 0, that means B is the GCD. Thus, we will print B with an output component and terminate the program via end terminator. But if the condition in the decision box is false, that is, if A modulo B is not equals to 0, then a process box is implemented in which two variables are declared, from which variable i is assigned to 1 and variable gcd is assigned to 0. Furthermore, we will add a decision box that checks whether i is less than or equals to smaller or not. If the condition is false, that means i is greater than smaller, and thus we will print the variable gcd through an output component and end the program via end terminator. But if i is less than or equals to smaller, then again a decision box is implemented to determine whether a modulo i is equals to 0 and b modulo i is equals to 0. If both of these conditions are true, then we will update variable gcd with i and increment i by 1. And if the condition is false, then we will simply increment i by 1. In addition, create a loop before the last second decision box such that it will recheck the value of i for each iteration. Thus, whenever the value of i is less than or equals to variable smaller, it is sent forward to check whether i is a divisor of a and b or not. And if a and b both are divisible by i, the variable gcd is updated with i. Now finally, if the condition inside the first decision box is false, that is, if a is not greater than b, then the value of a is copied in variable smaller using a process box. Moreover, again a decision box is applied to check if b modulus a is equals to 0 or not. If yes, then A is printed and the program is terminated. And if not, then again the same process is followed where I is initialized to 1 and GCD is initialized with 0. To understand the flowchart in better way, let's consider A is equals to 10 and B is equals to 15. At first, as 10 is not greater than 15, Thus, the condition inside the first decision box is false. Hence, a which is 10 is assigned to variable smaller. Now, 15 modulo 10 is not equals to 0. 
Thus, the condition inside the second decision box is false. Here, the initial value of variable i is 1 and variable gcd is 0. Furthermore, 1 is less than smaller which is 10. Thus, the condition inside the last second decision box is true. Therefore, a and b are sent forward to check whether they are divisible by 1 or not. Here, 10 modulo 1 and 15 modulo 1 both are equals to 0. Thus, the variable gcd is updated to 1 and also i is incremented to 2. Similarly, as 2 is less than or equals to 10, hence the condition in the last second decision box is true. Additionally, 10 modulus 2 and 15 modulus 2 is not equals to 0, which means the condition inside the last second decision box is false. Thus, i is simply incremented to 3. Here, again, 3 is less than or equals to 10. And the condition in the last second decision box is true. Moreover, 10 modulo 3 and 15 modulo 3 is not equals to 0. That means the condition inside the last decision box is false. Thus, i becomes 4. In the same way, 4 is less than or equals to 10. Also, 10 modulo 4 and 15 modulo 4 is not equals to 0. Therefore, i becomes 5 after incrementation. Again, as 5 is less than or equals to 10, the condition in the last second decision box is true. And hence, 5 is sent forward to check whether a and b are divisible by 5 or not. Since 10 modulo 5 and 15 modulo 5 is equals to 0. Thus, the condition inside the last decision box is true. And hence, gcd is updated to 5, also i is incremented to 6. Here, from 6 onwards, none of the numbers divides both 10 and 15 completely. So, i is just incremented, that is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. As soon as the value of i becomes 11, the condition inside the last second decision box becomes false. That is, 11 is not less than or equals to 10. Hence, the GCD which is 5 is printed and the program is terminated. Thank you.